This is a turtle that I made when I was in first grade, and I'm so happy that I still have it. I'm going to show you how to make it the exact same way that I learned how to make it when I was in first grade. You're going to need some clay, either model magic or modeling clay or air dry clay, and something to make texture with. So meet us over at the table and let's make a clay turtle. To start your clay turtles, you're going to need five pieces of clay that are about the size of a gumball. We're going to take two of those and we're going to turn them into slabs. A slab is a piece of clay that is kind of like a pancake. I'm using the heel or the back of my hand to press onto those and make them into flat pancake shapes. But you don't want super paper thin or else they might fall apart. About the size of a cookie. You're going to need two of those. These are going to become the top and bottom shell of your turtle. Next, we're going to take the remaining three pieces and turn those into something called coils. A coil is a long piece of clay. You can either mold it in your hands or down onto the table. You'll notice that I'm moving my fingers apart and together to make sure I get all parts of the coil even. Two of these are going to become your legs and one of them will become your head and tail. I made sure to make mine a little bit longer than my slabs. That way, they hang over. Two of my coils are going to overlap in an X shape on top of one of the slabs. And the last one's going to go straight up through the middle and it will become the head and the tail. If I were using a different kind of clay, I would use scoring and slipping, but this is model magic clay, so I don't have to do that and it will all stay together. So far we've got a turtle sandwich. Let's take a little bit off of the tail because it needs to be shorter than the rest of the legs. I'm bending down my coils to give him something to stand up on so he's not just laying on his belly. And I'm also going to bend his head up in an L shape so he's looking up. Next, we'll be able to add designs on the shell. You could either press it into something textured or you could use what I'm going to use, which is a wooden stick and make my own designs on the back of his shell. I'm just adding some simple lines and keeping it super simple and really easy. And the last thing I'm going to add are some eyes. I'm just poking in where his eyes should go. Once my clay dries, I can paint it whatever color I want and I am done with my turtle. Have fun making yours! <laughs>